I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. Everybody. So Ice Cube is dishing the industry's dirt, claiming that Jay-Z is supposedly throwing Diddy under the bus. But there's an unexpected twist. He's saying Jay-Z did the same thing to R. Kelly back in the day when those serious allegations surfaced. Remember when Jay-Z distanced himself from R. Kelly? Well, according to Ice Cube, Jay-Z's doing a similar thing to Diddy now, who's caught up in some accusations from multiple women, including one who says she was in high school at the time. Ice Cube ain't holding back, hinting that Jay-Z might have a questionable history with not-so-legal relationships, too. Get my message out to the people. Be able to let people hear from me, you know. Ice Cube's hinting that Jay-Z might be distancing himself from Diddy because of all the heat Diddy's facing. Apparently, he doesn't want to meet the same fate because the speculations about Jay-Z's crazy acts have also been circling in Tinseltown. Being in the industry for decades, Ice Cube is suggesting that Jay-Z might be even worse than Diddy, accusing him of questionable activities with young girls. It's a lot to process, but with these long-standing rumors floating around the sick narrative in hip-hop, it's not entirely new or shocking. Birds of a feather, they say. And it looks like Ice Cube's dropping bombshells that might just shake this whole world of hip-hop to its core. Some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. Hushed whispers and gossips about Jay-Z's less than spotless image have circulated in the shadows for years, completely unrelated to the infamous Becky with the good hair saga. Shocking allegations suggest his involvement in corrupting high schoolers and assisting others in the industry to do so. One unsettling story that has lingered involves allegations that Jay-Z initiated a relationship with Foxy Brown when she was 14 years old. To make matters even more alarming, whispers hint that their involvement began when she was just 15 and he was a 24-year-old. It's undeniably alarming, but unfortunately, as Ice Cube says, such unsettling tales are not uncommon in the tangled web of Hollywood, where disturbing things sometimes unfold behind closed doors. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for... Adding a twist to this tangled tale, Jay-Z eventually addressed these rumors in his song Picasso Baby, where he vehemently stated, I never stuck my C in a fox's box, but damned if I ain't open Pandora's box. They try to slander your man on CNN and Fox... In this lyrical defense, he acknowledged the attempts to tarnish his reputation in the mainstream media. Interestingly, Foxy Brown herself wasn't pleased about Jay-Z bringing up this sensitive topic in an interview. She revealed that she had advised Jay to let the rumor slide, expressing her shock when he dropped that particular line in the song. Now, with everything swirling about Jay-Z, it was probably the best move to distance himself from him. And knowing what kind of people the music producers associated, she basically saved her life by denying everything. He's treated me like a daughter. And a daughter. I'm, I'm his daughter, I'm his artist, I'm his everything in, in one. However, she felt compelled to discuss that embarrassing line from her teenage years, suggesting that the heat she felt from people discussing her age might have been why Jay decided to address it in his song, Foxy remarked, was I shocked when Jay said the line in Picasso Baby? Yes, because we've talked about that. We have a history that supersedes music. We know how this business works. Jay-Z's connections to questionable things over the years don't end there. One glaring example is his past association with R. Kelly. As you might recall, R. Kelly was involved in an inappropriate relationship with singer Leah when she was just 15 years old. He allegedly used his influence in the industry to obtain false paperwork stating she was 18, allowing them to get married. Eventually, the truth about her age came out and the marriage was annulled. However, it didn't stop Jay-Z from chasing after the girl after his sick friend. <laughs> so you and Jay was both getting at Aaliyah, obviously. Everybody was, getting at, everybody was getting at Aaliyah. According to Ice Cube, these stories are not highlighted enough as they should be. And as netizens believe, there's a lot of proof that can land Jay-Z right next to his friend, R. Kelly. One person commented, if we're being honest, I believe Jay-Z could have done some Sue's activity. He used to be my favorite rapper after Big passed away. Then I started to see that he's kind of a weirdo. And another user added, he may be very dangerous until he's completely on his own and does not give him the time of day. The higher-ups may well throw him under the bus. It was a shock to everyone that Jay-Z didn't distance himself from E.R. Kelly, even after the scandal with Alea erupted. Instead, they collaborated on an album and even went on tour together. I was not I was not, not concerned for my career, like, uh -huh. as far as an artist. I know, like... I mean, I wasn't there. And then there are those accusations floating around about Jay-Z having some sort of relationship with Foxy Brown, who was the same age as Aaliyah. That puts him in a questionable position to claim any high ground. Rumors also swirled that Jay-Z was eyeing Aaliyah for himself, even though she was illegally married to his friend. Aaliyah, this extraordinary woman, had multiple famous suitors vying for her affections, causing dramatic tensions and strained relationships. Jay-Z and his friend Damn Dash were apparently both after her romantically, creating this intense rivalry between the two pals as they competed for her attention. So that was like the big deal, like who could get with Aaliyah? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. you know, 
But like, was he bitter? Alea was playing the field, going on dates with both Jay Z and Dame, but she seemed to develop stronger feelings for Dame, which didn't sit well with Jay Z. As Dame himself said during one interview, she wasn't serious about Jay Z. It was just a situation where Alea was the type of girl that would give you a shot. She didn't care what people thought or whatever, so she'll date you and be your friend. When Alea and Dame got serious, Jay Z reportedly didn't handle it gracefully. It was the time when he shifted his romantic focus to Beyonce, envisioning Hollywood's ultimate power couple. But for that to happen, he needed Beyonce to be the leading lady in the industry. Now, Beyonce was destined for greatness no matter what. But when they first crossed paths, she had just left Destiny's Child and was still carving her path. Now, is the group is uh, breaking up. It's ended its uh, run. Is that right? Oh so my now God. we're older and we each have our own individual dreams and goals. Meanwhile, Aaliyah was already establishing herself as a force to be reckoned with. However, Aaliyah's tragic passing left a void at the top, which many believe Beyonce stepped into. Some have even questioned whether Aaliyah's demise in a plane crash was truly accidental, especially since she was en route to a music video shoot in the Bahamas when the director abruptly changed the location from Florida. There have been reports suggesting that Aaliyah initially refused to board but was given sleeping pills, rendering her unconscious and allowing her to be carried onto the aircraft. Additionally, suspicions continued to circulate within entertainment circles about potential deeper motives behind the crash. Mary J. Blige expressed her belief that Aaliyah's passing was more than just an accident, and she openly called out Jay-Z for that. I could go deep, but a lot of people I would have to really bring, you know what I'm saying? Adding to the controversy, Ice Cube has made claims about Jay-Z's involvement in various unsettling situations with young women. One such instance involves singer Tiara Marie during her time at Def Jam, who Jay allegedly dated. She told in one of her interviews that at the age of 17, I had a boyfriend and he was just poison. This guy, he did me dirty. He was emotionally bad and controlling. Jay-Z initially showed a strong interest in her career, even dubbing her the princess of the label. However, on the night of Tiara's prom, he abruptly dropped her from the label, citing underperformance of her debut album as the reason. In her rare exposing interview, she said if he could have made me successful, he would have. Of course he wants to win on everything he touches. I realized that it just wasn't my time. I needed what happened to grow up, so I'm happy for it. Ice Cube alleges that Jay-Z's decision to cut ties with Tiara stems from alleged more than artistic collaboration between Jay-Z and Tiara when she was still in high school. Or want to be a part of it unless you really understood what was going on. Reports even hint that Jay-Z blacklisted Tiara from the industry after demands from Beyonce who found out about her husband's affair with a young artist, supposedly due to jealousy over Jay-Z's involvement with her. Rumors suggest that Beyonce caught wind of Jay-Z's involvement with Tiara and insisted he sever all ties with her. Allegedly, Jay-Z's solution was to blacklist Tiara to prevent her from being signed by anyone else in the industry. And another talented artist simply got forgotten amidst the drama and six scandals of Tinseltown. So that was the end of it, and I just kept it to myself for like six months. Now Ice Cube expresses hopes that Jay-Z will go down the same pathetic way as his industry friends, like R. Kelly and Diddy. And judging by the comments, the audience is on Ice Cube's side in this story. As one person commented, underage kids seems to be something that the rich people have been doing since the beginning of time, and almost all of the vultures continues to keep getting away with it. And another user added, birds of a feather fluck together. Jay is next, mark my words. Well, it's the season of exposure in Tinsel Twin, and all the mighty figures are trembling from fear, trying to cover their crazy crimes. But folks, what do you think about all this? Is Jay-Z truly hiding something sinister? And will he be the next to go down after Diddy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check my other videos.